Hi, Cherie Hansen here. I am reading to you from my blog at cheriehansen.com, which now has 59,779 subscribers. You too can subscribe if you're interested. I would invite you to like and to subscribe to my YouTube channel where this vlog will appear. This particular one was written June 7th and it is called Lessons Arising. We are always half-baked. I am always interested to see how my ego works. If I am misunderstood, I feel confused and small. When my heart reaches out to someone to try to help them out of the illusion of being in a trapped place, they respond by fighting fiercely to hold on to the victim, I feel stirred up in my chest. The source of that was living with two adults who were emotionally corrupt, and I needed to not believe the world that they had created. It would drag me under. It would destroy me. And so I learned to stand back while I was very young and sip simply watch how others operate. I needed to separate my reality from theirs. It is a gift to all those who are born into a chaotic environment. We question everything, and because of that we discover our own truth. But having them believe my words never happened. My perceptions were always wrong or crazy. They attempted to control my actions, not their own. And then as time passes, I remember in my past when my reactions were exactly the same reactions as those I am currently trying to help. When I refused to listen and I refused to learn, it is like planting something in the garden, a new understanding, a new sympathy for them and for my younger self that knew so much. And then I see the entire lesson from all sides. Being patient with how long it takes me to back off of the fear when I have been misunderstood is where I am right now. <laughs> yes, it is taking me time to get it. And yes, I am probably not getting all of it, but being in submission to the process of learning is definitely getting easier for me. As I was making the beds today, I thought of all the messages those who were older, more experienced, and wiser had given to me. I remember the very instance when he or she reached out to me and held up a mirror. The scenes flashed before me as I turned the covers back into place. Standing and watching riots across the United States in 1967 at a professor's house, I expressed fear. I said, it is all being destroyed. And a very tired looking sage academic asked me, why do you fear the destruction? I was too young. I was too sure of my own mental agility. I was too ego-bound with being right. I rejected the wisdom because I was not ready for it. I did not hear the words, but instead turned them into only that which I could see. I refused to understand that others who had suffered more, faced death more intimately, survived more humiliation were wiser than I. Because I was too ego-bound, I condemned myself to learn through pain and loss. I would not listen. I could not listen. I did not understand their words. My ego defense system kept them out of my fortress. And because of that, I chose the more difficult path. Something remarkable has happened to me in the last two years. The life of mindless spending out of time no longer calls me. The life of doing that which others decide is correct no longer satisfies me. There is a separation between who I was and who I am becoming. And I 
am more content. I am more curious. I no longer know what I will be. And <laughs> it is glorious. It is glorious. Today I saw a video reminding me of Marcus Aurelius who hired a servant to follow him everywhere repeating in his ear, you are just a man. You are just a man. And it is by knowing that we are at the service of the lesson that we grow. Keep focused on the truth that is not the results that I seek. I do not want more power or more recognition or greater safety in the world. I want to be <laughs> of service. And that means releasing the need to know what I am becoming. Thank you, friend, for allowing me to see my ego in action <laughs> once again. Thank you.